anyone watched the news lately? Russia is attacking on Ukraine. In this bilingual Winnipeg classroom, students speak English and Ukrainian. They know all about the Russian invasion. I am worried because, like, it's, like, hard to understand that, like, my home native country is actually, like, being invaded and this is, like, serious. At RF Morrison School, the attack on Ukraine hits close to home. Many students and staff have family in the country. On Friday, they were encouraged to wear blue and yellow or a cross-stitched shirt. Talking about aggression or war is a very difficult thing to, to discuss with our little ones. But they still have the biggest land. They have a lot of land. Yeah, but so, why do they want more? So far they have questions about things they, they see on the news, but um, for the most part, they are curious. They want to know more. You want to start with the title? In another class, students are making their voices heard through art. You will see my students working on signs that say peace, peace to Ukraine, peace to the world. We don't want war. We are a peaceful country. Those who grew up in Ukraine are finding ways to help. I had friends from Ukraine messaging me and I was asking them what would be the best way for us to support you right now and they're saying um, donate to legitimate organizations in Ukraine that are actually helping um, troops and they're helping civilians and displaced, um, displaced people from their homes. So the earring maker came up with the fundraising raffle. She would thought it'd be small, but within a day, more than 200 other makers and small businesses donated prizes, more than $10,000 already raised. This is not even in the realm of what I thought could happen, so it just, it's really amazing. It's just incredible. Anyone who wants to show their support can head to the Manitoba legislature on Saturday at 5. We would like to uh, invite to this rally all, you know, the whole Ukraine Canadian community as well as um, the whole Manitoba to come and show support for Ukraine. At the rally, some of the students' words of support will be proudly on display. Ian Fraze, CBC News, Winnipeg.